Hello again. Today I am reviewing LEGO Animal Crossing set 77046, Julian's Birthday Party. This set contains 170 pieces and comes with an instruction booklet containing 63 pages. This set was released March 2024 and retailed for £12.99. The one and only minifigure included in this set is Julian. The first part of the build contains one medium sized plate in bright yellowish green, along with three very neatly wrapped presents. There is also a skateboard with a bow attached and another brightly wrapped present, but this time you can lift the lid and have a sneaky peek inside. The next step includes a large bright green plate and features four stools and a large circular table. In the middle is a beautifully decorated birthday cake and there are also some other party essentials. The third step contains another medium plate and Julian's birthday must take place in the springtime as a cherry blossom is in bloom. Don't shake the tree too hard or you might dislodge a branch. And a light aqua brick built radio provides some ambience to ensure the party is swinging. The fourth and final step contains yet another medium plate and comes complete with some party balloons, some island flowers and the iconic lamppost in white. A flexible hose is decorated with brightly colourful dots pieces and one end attaches to the lamppost while the other end is tied to the cherry blossom tree. Now all the sections are built, all that's left to do is to connect them all together and this tiny section of island is complete. This is now the second Animal Crossing set I have built and I am really beginning to like where this theme seems to be going. Lego are really going all out on the customizability factor, so much so they've even plastered it on the outside of their boxes. And even with the small amount of sections provided in this set, you are able to create a few different island formations to suit your displaying needs. I really think this swappable plate system is a really great idea, as eventually this will allow the builder to create a whole island. Compared to the other sets, Julian's birthday party has brighter colour base plates, meant to represent spring, so I can only assume we will be getting other colours in the future, and different seasonal trees to represent both autumn and winter, just like in the computer game. It's not only the island that is customisable, even the minifigure has a small peg hole in its head to attach an accessory and I'm guessing each of the other sets will come with some other form of hat or headgear to switch up their look. As someone who played Animal Crossing New Horizon during lockdown until their Nintendo Switch almost melted, I was pleasantly surprised with the instantly recognisable street lamp and cherry blossom tree. By the way, I'm still hoping for the inclusion of a cardboard box. As I have stated in a previous review, I believe there is a huge potential for this theme and I really hope LEGO give it the love it deserves. I predict a large museum build and hopefully my dodgy cousin Red's boat will make an appearance at some point in the future. It is a shame the set only comes with one minifigure as this seems like a very sad birthday party indeed with only the birthday boy in attendance but with a roster of over 400 characters to choose from, I'm really hoping for at least one collectible minifigure wave so I can finally get Snake. Because who doesn't love Snake? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and also let me know who was your first ever villager. Mine was Tangy. Anyway, that's it for the review. Now it's time for the bell shots. <laughs> 